He was trying to get away from the cops and he did the stupidest thing. Uh, just had three girls in the back, but you know, we had to uh, make some room for our stuff because Coop and I only make money moves, so. Just imagine you escape, the cops show back up at your house and they're like, you left your, you left your ID in the seat. For this thing being a stolen bike, this is smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it's cleaned off. Squeaky clean. Alright. Yo, what is going on, y'all? Hope y'all are having a blessed day today. I'm having a pretty good, pretty dang good day today, too. About to add another bike to the lineup. See, we got trash though. We got the two dirt bikes, Supermotos, Jake's here. We got the V-Rod in there. We got the little Grom sliding in on the side. Um, as you guys can tell by the title, we're going to check out a bike. The bike's pretty interesting. It's got a cool backstory to it. Um, I'll kind of tell you guys more and I talk about it whenever I'm there. I kind of got to get going. The bike's two hours away, so running a little bit behind. I'm going to grab my straps, got to grab my helmet, and then I got to grab the cash together. I'm going to get that all together. And uh, once I have that together, I'm going to head out. But once you see the bike, the bike's got a, you, you guys can probably see by the, by the title, the bike's got an interesting story. Um, it was stolen at one point and uh, it was like in a police chase and Somehow she ended up with it. It's got a clean title. That's all I care for. So whatever it is, I'm just gonna get on the road and go go check it out. Hopefully it's hopefully it's as good as good as she says it, as good as the pictures are. You know they're always they're always kind of boosted on pictures. Uh, but we got we got like two more open spots, so we, we got enough room. So we're gonna we're gonna go see what we can work with. Dude, that helmet is dude. This helmet is so freaking clean. I haven't been anywhere and everyone's always like, dang, bro, you got a sick helmet. Uh, it's kind of fruity. It is a little bit fruity, but it, if it if it's my personality, so yeah. so it's perfect. That is correct. All right, I think we're good. All right, so we're heading out. Just got the cash together. It's gonna be about uh, like two hours away from us. Got the cash on me because you know I always I always got my racks on me. Always 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 got the cash by my side. Got my helmet. Got the straps. Two hours away. It's probably gonna be dark when we get back. Um, but it's gonna be a pretty interesting bike. It uh. Just, just for like a little gist of it, supposedly it was like stolen. A guy was riding it, he never made payments on it or whatnot. And police came in and he pretty much wrecked it when he was trying to run from the cops. Um, he's, he's not like me, he couldn't get away. Not, not, I don't run though, but you know, he's, they can't keep up with me, but that's beside the point. So he wrecked it because he doesn't know how to ride. She ended up buying it from him, or buying it from like the police impound. She said it took like a year to get it in her name with the title and everything. Um, and, it, and obviously it's still a little wrecked up, but it's pretty much running and everything's good. Um, the ignition needs some stuff. So it'll need some stuff here and there. Here and there. Um, nothing too crazy though, but that's pretty much the gist of it. I'll kind of go over it more once we see it. Um, what you think about it, Andrew? No, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, just had three girls in the back, but you know, we had to uh, make some room for our stuff because Coop and I only make money moves, so. Yeah, we, yeah, we we just gotta make that dough. <laughs> yeah, we just out here making money moves, so we had to we had to kick the girls out the back. So, yeah, pick up another bike. You already know. All right, guys, so it's starting to get a little bit dark out here. Uh, we're about like 15, 20 minutes out. Um, so the next clip will probably be us rolling up, and uh, you'll probably be a little POV of me being a uh, checking out the bike. So the next clip will be me giving the bike for a little test ride. So. Alright guys, just got to the bike, seems pretty solid, it's actually in way better shape than I thought it was going to be, thought it was going to be completely trashed, um, I'm going to take it for a spin right now, Ugh. adjust the mic a little bit, um, I bet I, could I just take it up to, is that like a main road? I can just. That's a main road. Yeah, that's fine. Right. I bet I, I, I find like a gas station. Yeah. There's turn a, around if on. If you go up this way, there's Casey's. You have to pack your lot up on top of the hill. Okay. Uh, but there's Casey's up there. Sounds good. And. Cool. Slide in. I'll get on in your side. Yeah, for being in a police chase and getting wrecked, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not terrible. Like I said, I mean, yeah, the, the plastics, you know, cosmetic and stuff like that, but yeah, it's not that it's bad. Not bad.
So did you did so you had one of your workers like change to a whole new ignition? I'm not sure exactly what he did. He he we had to order a new um the keys and everything cuz they didn't have them. Okay, yeah. Uh, but is there a different key on that? There's like 3 or 4. This key right here might unlock that lock. Okay, we can try that out. <laughs> that yeah, that'll help out a lot. Okay. Thank you, sir. Ooh, a little muddy. A little off-roading on it. It's got a late clutch release. It's got a super late clutch release. Wow, super late. Alright, guys. So, on the stolen on the stolen Z900. Wow, that is a smooth bike. Wow, holy moly. It sits super smooth. Oh my gosh. For this thing being a stolen bike, this is smooth. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never been on a Z, Z bike. A little Kawasaki Z. So, biggest thing when I'm on a motorcycle, um, I always like to check the brakes. I like to check the gears. I like to see how it handles. Since this thing has been wrecked, the biggest thing I'm checking for on it, man, that's got a really late cl clutch release. Biggest thing I'm checking on it is the, oh, it's got a little power too. Oh, good power to it. Biggest thing on I'm checking is the frame, uh, how the frame feels. Wow, this is a comfy bike. So I'm gonna go through, sorry I'm just talking and kind of sending it through the gears, fifth gear, sixth gear. So I'm in sixth gear right now. Um, so I like how it goes through all the gears. I'll give it gas here and there, make sure the power feels nice. Throw it back and forth like I just don't care, you know. Send it back and forth, hey, hey, you know, because I love the bike. Always make sure all the blinkers work. Wow, this is, first ride on this type of bike, this is a very smooth bike. I always like to downshift, feel feel how it downshifts. Um, go and turn it up here. Wow, this is this is a smooth bike. Oh my gosh, this is the smoothest bike, one of the smoothest bikes I've been on. Not to mention that it <laughs> that it was stolen. Um, so it is a very it's a very smooth stolen bike. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So I guess the story on this bike is the guy was pretty much trying to get away. He was he was trying to get away from the cops and he did the stupidest thing. He he ran from the cops and he made it away. And then he left his wallet. He he, he like fell on the bike later and he left his wallet in the uh in the seat and the cops came and found him because they found his wallet in the seat when they found the bike wrecked which is hilarious it's honestly super hilarious but man this has got a late clutch release give it a little gas here wow that thing will get up and the seating position is actually insanely comfortable insanely i'm i've never been on one of these the power is very smooth. The seating position is very smooth. Wow, this is this is a bike that I <laughs> I really like this. I really like this bike. Which turn was it? Am I tripping out? Am I tripping out? Why am I tripping out so hard? Oh, this turn was up here. Right? I don't know where I'm at right now. Where am I where am I going to? Isn't it that way? Wait, hold on. Where, where? Did I just miss it? Did I just miss the turn? I am being an idiot right now. I think this is it right here. Hopefully. Yep, this is it. Wow. So now I'm kind of going to just... I always like to feel the brakes. The whole time I'm riding, I'm feeling the brakes. Um, and the front brakes seem to work very well. It seems as if it's, it's straight and the frame's good. <sighs> Man, that idiot. Whoever, whoever crashed his bike. Sucks to be you. A little off-roading. 
a little off-road in time. We'll kind of just leave it out here because I'll put it in the light. Throw it in right here. Can you flip on the bright? Yeah. That rode a lot better than I thought it would. That that is the bright. It's probably the, the main one probably just not working. Yeah. Yeah, it probably needs a new bulb. <laughs> I don't know. That's not that bad. That that rode a whole heck of a lot better than I thought it would. Pretty surprised. So he didn't actually like so he so he fell and then they got the bike the, okay so he was in pursuit he laid the bike over skidded it and then into the grass he got up and ran okay okay so we got the bike they stayed with the bike because there was no sense that he was already gone like wow before they got the car and then they found him by having his wallet in the seat wallet was in the seat wow that, i bet I bet he was so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he wasn't surprised. <laughs> well, he probably knew he left his... He's like, shit, where's my wallet? Yeah. I've ran the ACIC in the state of Arkansas. It's never been reported stolen. Okay. Uh, I did the bin inspect. I mean, I, everything. I've got copies of everything. Yeah, it's not leaking or nothing. Yeah, the main thing is just this right there. Yeah, well, he had to drill it out at one. Yeah. My thing was that. I'd probably need a new gas cap, too. That's broken right there. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Yeah, the tires aren't too bad. Yeah, we'll get that off. Okay. Yeah, I'll be. Yeah. I got the cash, we can do it. Okay. Sounds good. I just picked up the Z900. It's pretty clean. Um, you know, it's got normal, it's got scratches, they painted it. You can see they painted it up there. Um, scratches down here on the case. All this isn't gonna be too bad. They put on new uh, rear seats, rear sets. Um, scratches here and there. The tail lights jacked up back here. Big dog. Um, this is the side he probably definitely went down on because then it got cracked, cracked right in here. So pretty much everything on this in the lever got bent up here. Everything on this is pretty much, I'd say, is all just cosmetic stuff. Um, it's not leaking any oil anywhere. A couple spots on the frame is definitely all scratched up. But the thing is, she doesn't know if this was ever registered. I don't think it was ever registered. Um, so this guy pretty much had a stolen bike that he was just riding around and it's got 13,000 miles on it. So he had a stolen bike for 13,000 miles. Um, so this is it in the light. It's nothing too crazy. The frame, that was a big thing I was looking for. The frame, it's all straight. Everything's all straight. Um, it rode like a beast. It's really just dusty. That's just about it. The other thing I need to replace is the ignition. Um, because with the ignition, he, if you see up there, he, uh, he, drilled, he drilled out the, the gas can and the ignition, obviously, because he stole it so he could get to it. And I don't know if you heard on the story, but so pretty much he escaped from the police. And he probably thought he was a freaking legend because he ended up crashing it and then he ran but being an idiot he left his wallet in the seat they got to the seat and they found his they found his wallet they found his id in the seat and so they they figured out his name and everything and she told me he ended up getting five years in jail just because just because for the stolen bike and for evading police he ended up getting five years in jail um so don't run from the police don't steal bikes moral of the story so the bike was never registered so it took her so she said she had it for a year so it took her a year um a year to get it registered and everything be sure to go through the bonded title but that's pretty much it um it sat real nice little scratches on the tack nothing too crazy um i love the green on the frame see needs a little new seat but i love the green frames on these kawasaki's i think they look super clean um, what are you thinking on it, Andrew? It's looking good, man. Yeah. You got a great deal. Like he said, no oil leaks anywhere. He rode it pretty hard to a gas station and back, so if there was any, we'd see it. Yeah, I rode it, I rode it hard on to the gas station on the trip. But no, the yeah. thing looks great. I mean, like you said, aside from cosmetic, uh, for being 13,000, this thing's 13,000 miles. This thing's about as uh, good condition as you can get, so 
Yeah, 13 got a great deal. Miles, Should dude. be fun to ride. Oh, uh, dude, it's gonna be a B, so that's the bike for right now. Oh, it's got a little crack up there on the front fender, too. So it pretty much just needs every new uh, plastic everywhere, every new cosmetic um, in every different spot. Probably just get a whole new set of different plastics on it, but besides that, uh, I'd say we got a pretty solid deal on it, so I'll bring it back, do some work on it. So that's that. That's the gist of the stolen Z900. He probably, dude, he probably thought he was like a legend whenever he he uh, he got away from the cops at first, and he he, you know, he thought he was an idiot whenever he left his seat. The cops showed it. Just imagine you escape, the cops show back up at your house, and they're like, you left your you left your ID in the seat. I bet he was so hurt because then you got five years in jail. That would suck, but. That's it for the bike. Uh, we got about a two hour trip to go back now. So we're gonna get back on the road and get going. Um, and there'll be, there'll be some pretty cool stuff that's gonna happen with this bike. So keep you guys updated. This is the angle from up top. You can see the tacks all scratched up. It's just really just dusty right now. You can see how I janked it up. The gas tank's not that bad, but it's just really dusty right now. But it just don't look half bad at all. It's a great view. Probably one of the most comfortable bikes I've ever been on. But it's a, it's definitely a, oh, piss better not fall. But it's definitely one of the nicest, best deals I've gotten. And it is a, it is a sharp looking bike. So we got some good stuff coming for this one. Yo, you know, you know we're out here in uh, Barlin. Stuff can get a little sketch. So if someone try to run it up on us, you know, they, they ain't getting stay nowhere. They, we, we, they, we stay strapped out here. A little uh, pew pew with that with that nine mil, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. With with the stolen bike in the back. <laughs> with the stolen bike in the back. All right, we're gonna get going. Yo, I don't know if y'all can see this, but we're on the way back right now, and it is just yeah. You probably can't even see on the camera, but it is just mad foggy right now. I don't know. I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up, but we've been going like 40 miles an hour like the whole way back. So we're we're making this two-hour trip like three hours, but. It's like mad foggy. Can't, hey, hey, John Cena, can't, can't see me. Can't see me with my bikes. All right, guys, we just got back. Just got in the garage. Now we literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bikes. My mom is literally going to kill me because we can't get to our, you know, we're in Oklahoma, so we got the tornado, tornado alley, so we can't get to our tornado shelter. So she's pretty mad right now. Um, bikes, bikes all in. Overall, I think it's a it was, it was a pretty dope story, uh, pretty dope bike that we picked up. Obviously, gonna need the stuff here and there cosmetically, um, but nothing nothing else that's too crazy. Definitely get the ignition done first, cosmetics. Um, that's that's just about it with it. I don't I don't really see me do anything too much else with it. It rode like a beast. It rode it rode like it's like it's honestly sitting been sitting forever and that's literally what it's been it's been sitting that lady said she had it for the past year just uh sitting and doing nothing so everything still feels pretty fresh on it even though it's been wrecked it feels like it's been well taken care of for whoever whoever took it to steal it um yeah, i swear that guy literally probably thought he was so cool when he escaped and the next thing you know cops show up said your wallet was in the seat and then you get five years in prison that would plan that would plan out suck but Hey, that's what happens when you steal a bike. So don't don't steal a bike, guys. Um, so that's probably it for this video. Andrew, you got anything to say? Solid day, man. Solid Fun day. Line. Solid story. Solid solid stolen Z900. Uh, Aside from the four hours stuck in the car with you, it's a pretty good day. It was a pretty good day besides being stuck with me. <laughs> what can I say? Um, all right, guys. That's gonna be it for this one. I'll I'll be doing some updates, and you know I'll be I'll be updating and doing stuff with this bike. So if you guys want anything special, let me know. That'll be it for this video. Catch you all in the next one. Peace out.